Okay, I want to be honest with you guys. I basically want to make this video just to have an excuse to talk about Oddworld on Nintendo 3DS. And I thought, why not just make a stupid comparison by comparing um, Apes Odyssey with two different handheld consoles, which is Nintendo 3DS and, and a PSP. Because, uh, like, yeah, Oddworld on Nintendo's 3DS, like, that's that's not really something that you would have on your, on your mind, but, but obviously, like, some people think, yeah, Oddworld on PSP, naturally, because it's a PlayStation console, and it's a PS1 game, so that fits quite well, but I thought, you know, which one of these two is, like, the most com comfortable one, and, and, like, the best way to play this, and I, I'm, I think mo most of you would already say PSP, which I think, like, I will um, agree with this, but hold on, let's, let's just give, um, the Nintendo 3DS a chance, like, and, yeah, this is obviously all emulated, and the PSP one is natively, I, I believe, or maybe, not. yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's, it is natively, as I just point out that uh, this one is a, a new Nintendo 3DS, and I just want to say that you know, it runs okay, but I can also feel that the control is a bit slow. Um, like, like in a way with how the European version of um, Apes Odyssey is, like how it runs in 50 hertz instead of the 60 hertz, like the US version it does. But it's probably because, like, like I've got used to play the. US version on uh, lots of emulated devices, but I don't know if there's just me, but anyway. Um, but it's playable, and, and yeah, Ape controls pretty fine, and it also like runs quite smooth. But I don't know if you can hear this, but the sound is a bit messed up. Yeah, like, you can hear the ambience right now. It's very messed up. Hello. Wait. Wait. Follow. Oh gosh, Thunder. Yeah, even with some of Abe's be game speak is like, it's a bit messed up. Um, but also, like, the new 3DS does have the four buttons, obviously, so I can... So I do have all the required buttons to play the whole game. Like, all the game speak, running, sneaking, all that stuff. So that's great, but unfortunately, I can't use the joystick, so that's unfortunate. And now the reason why I'm playing this on a new 3DS is because this is best recommended to play this because I do have a 3DS XL with Apes Odyssey on it as well and it does run alright I want to say which I'm I'm quite impressed by this uh, despite the fact that the new 3DS is twice as powerful as a 3DS. Like this one here is a 3DS XL. And it is a, not as powerful as this one right here. And yeah, you, you may see on camera that it runs fine. But there are like certain parts where the game is like awfully slow to a point that where it's almost unplayable. Or, I don't know if I can... No, no. No, 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 it's not... No, it's still playable, but... But it's like, it's awfully slow. Um, I would say, like, mostly... 
uh, the main menu where things is like uh, moving a bit slow with all the animation and the sound of that. But there is another reason like why it's best recommended to play this on a new 3DS because a 3DS and a 3DS XL only has um, two shoulder buttons which is the L and R button. So that means I am missing the uh, sneak button and the alternate game speak uh, as well. And fortunately, I also can use joystick as a replacement. So, I mean, it's pretty much uh, unplayable. Like, like, you can't reach that far on a 3DS XL. Unless if you're like me, who uh, wants to like try an like, alternative way to complete this. Like, how I did this with the SNES controller, because... The SNES control pretty much has all the uh, buttons as 3DS has right now. A, B, X, Y, D-pad, and two shoulder buttons. So, okay, I guess it is possible with Odyssey, but Exodus, obviously not. But okay. Um, now I talk too much about the 3DS. Let's talk about the PSP. Obviously, I think... PSP runs quite smooth, and the sound is great as well. And everything is like very comfortable with how I hold it, and all the buttons, and the jumping, and also uh, the fact that the screen is a lot bigger. Like, if you compare this with the new 3DS, it like, I mean, it, it is okay on the new 3DS, but it's everything is kind of small so you would kind of need something slightly bigger like a PSP which is fine but this is here where uh, the PSP suffers through the same problem as a 3DS XL because it only has L and R button which means that I am also missing the sneak button and the alternate game speak but thankfully, they solved this by replacing it with a joystick. Like if I, um, if I just hover the joystick to the left, I can activate the alternate game speak, which was a great solution. And if I hover to the right, I could just sneak. But this is a bit of a problem because, especially if I want to sneak, I have to do it like this, which is very uncomfortable for me to do this but i do understand it's like it's only this one it's not like with the ps vita where they have each um, each side of the uh, of the console has um a joystick of its own so you can just each each of them instead of the shoulder buttons but i do understand that decision because there's nothing else uh, they could do to replace it but that's like the only flaw I see with the PSP version but I mean at least um, you are able to continue the whole game it's still playable but it's just that this part is a bit uncomfortable like not like with the 3DS XL yeah, that's, it doesn't have anything that you can't use to uh, replace the uh, the shoulder burn that is missing. So, that's quite unfortunate. So, so really, what, what do I think, like, is the best? Well, I want to say is PSP is the winner for sure, despite, ha despite having only one flaw. It's a great way to play this because, um, well, was well, you can actually play this on PSP like officially, so I guess that counts. And then not, not like with 3DS, because I can obviously tell screen size was not designed for a game like this. 
And and I thought, you know, while I am here uh, talking about Artwell on PSP, I thought I'd I would also love to show you my custom uh, PSP menu themes of Ape Sadies and Ape's Accidents. Uh, but to be honest, this it's not exactly something new um, that you will see on YouTube because, uh, like, okay, look, here it is. Like, this is something that I have applied all by myself, like, background and the video right here, you see. Uh, because I don't know if you know this, but if you purchase a game from like a PS1 game from PlayStation Store, it will, uh, I think it will look something something close like this. I haven't seen it myself, I have never experienced it, but I believe it is something close, close to this. But this one is all I have applied by myself. And, all of this that I do as an 11 year old. Yes, I was 11 year old. Um, when I did this, I was taught to do this. So like, wow, well, I actually did this. And here's the one for Apes Exodus. Yeah, like I chose this one exactly because I thought, yeah, I think like the first part of the intro that like, Kind of boring, so I wanted to. So I went with, um, with something a little bit more unique, and I picked this one. And I thought, yeah, okay, it's just this one. Like, oh wait, this is the CD two. Yeah, uh, here's CD one. Yeah, here. Yeah, I think I was experimenting uh, around here. Um. Because I remember there was like some kind of a pack where you could um, choose what background you want to put in, but you could like apply any background you want. There was also like a bunch of files like containing like these small clips that you can apply to the icon right here. And I thought I wanted to pick the last one, which was this one. So I thought, okay, and I also picked this, this background here because I thought, okay, that was cool. And, but it didn't really fill the whole screen. And then you can also see the Japanese version of Ape Signals, like Ape 99. I don't remember what I did here, but I think I was just experimenting around. But this one went pretty well. And... Yeah, when I press it, yeah, just to show this up, I thought, yeah, naturally, uh, there show up something like this. Hold on, I, I got to show to you like the one for Ape Sides in Ape Sex to CD one and CD two. So I don't know if this can be heard from the camera, but. Thunder apparently wants to show up right now while I'm recording. But anyway. Um, uh, okay, here's your CD1. Yeah, <laughs> I chose this one. I don't know. I, I don't really remember why I picked this one. Maybe because I, I really like this picture and I thought, okay, this could be fitting like you just launch the game and the second one i don't remember what was the second one yeah okay Ah oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I picked this one because I liked it. Oh, <laughs> and it fits so well. Like right when you press the game, you just see like Abe doing the thumbs up. <laughs> and it's just so. Yeah, that was just me. 
um, talking on Sisabot, Art Royal on 3DS and PSP.